Aquatan, because you know these sports shows aren't dramatic at all, right? Oh hell no! This one never. This one actually has like a little bit of dramatics, just because like they were forcing this man to do I don't know how many backflips in a row, um, or he wasn't going to be able to make the team, or he had to sit out or something. Drama. It was a challenge. <laughs> I think it was both because it, yeah. it depends on who you ask. It's like hazing. I, I feel like that. I feel like the, the coach took it as a challenge. But I took it as the guy who had to do the backflips as drama. Because <laughs> so, he, he was basically breaking down. It's like, oh, you guys are the third years. This is your last chance. And yeah. he, was, he, it was, he was more doing it for them than, or than himself, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's always something that you have in these uh, sports shonen you know, shows with these tropes of the third <laughs> years kind of building all their aspirations and consistent reminders, even with, you know, a show like Haikyuu that has a lot of praise going for it. Like, Good. there are many times that those three, you know, senpais are, you know, constantly reminiscing of like, oh, this is our, our final tournament together, our last time, but like, Good. god damn, we're so proud of the first and second years, like, they're going to do amazing things, so. Dude, with that, again, with that moment- I'm fine with it. Um, and to Taylor's point, you know, I can more so view it as like, it's a challenge. Like, it's like, hey, at the end of the day, like, we're trying to do this um, large kind of goal for us. And it's like, you got to be able to hang. So mm-hmm. let's get to it. Let's start chopping. Yeah, let's start bit. flipping in this yeah. sense. <laughs> Back flipping. <laughs> uh, but like, just like a little, like, just a little side note. Uh, the high cue, when that happens, when that like overturn happens, when the third years are gone, dude. But that's why it always seems like for most shows, when the third years leave, they're just like, all right, we can't cut it, cut it. We we can't we can't do this. <laughs> no, like they're no. gone. It's like, yep. you know. <laughs> yeah, so. It, yeah. So that that's I know that's gonna hurt, but no, I, it's like still like the uh, animation. Everything is is really uh, it's really nice. Oh. Um, they finally got like the the their main six people established, even though. Uh, I feel like was this guy did like those create like those insane amount of backflips like with within a week, but I, I kind of feel like they're alluding to where he's more of a visual learner than actually having it explained. Um, I think that was the whole point of like watching that guy do backflips in that crazy beautiful animation. Mm-hmm. Um, the Kageyama of <laughs> of uh, gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it could be. I mean. It- different instruction types and different learning types and stuff like that um i think it maybe also is supposed to just show like i think it's supposed to also be building up their friendship though too exactly like mm. kageyama and hinata how they their personalities just mesh well together for challenging each other and pushing each other to grow and i think that it's both i think it's it's both what you said and also just how they communicate that works for them um definitely uh, but he needs a uh... MC in this show needs a little bit more of uh, Hinata's uh, personality. <laughs> I think I actually kind of like him the way that he is. He's just like very, he's very still got like the, very happy. He still has the earnestness of Hinata. He's just not, he just has a couple more brain cells and he's just a little bit more calm. He's not constantly flying off the handle and, you know, <sighs> but over the that. top with emotions. <laughs> he reminds me of a lot more of like Yuri from Yuri on Ice. He has more of that mm-hmm. personality, I feel like. Um, and right. I feel like I feel like um wh- I'm sorry. What's the other guy's name? I I always forget because Kari. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, just, I, just Kari. <laughs> I actually feel like he reminds me. I uh, in my head I keep calling him uh, Megami because he reminds Misato? me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. He reminds me so much of that character from Jujutsu Kaisen. That's that's so it's hard for me to think of him as anything mm-hmm. else. Guys, I'm a, who are we talking about? The other guy, the guy that you keep calling Kageyama. Kageyama. His oh, name's oh I actually hit it. Okay. I thought we were talking yeah, about yeah. Maybe one of the other. No, like, no, no, man. <laughs> As I call it, you were right. You were right. All right. I, I do think that this show needs to start. And I mean, I know we're only on episode episode two. So, like, I'm, I'm perfectly patient. I don't think it's, like, too slow or anything. But I do think it needs to start um, just kind of going other characters a little bit more and fleshing them out. I mean, because really this yeah. entire episode was just about nailing they had, they had to establish the team still yeah. and then you get to go in the character development so i'm yeah. sure we're gonna get and those so, to your point dude now that we have those six kind of uh members established now hopefully like you said we can start to see the other schools as they're preparing for uh oh, that too yeah. their upcoming competitions because yeah we only have 12 episodes for this show so it's like, all right, you get your characters established. You maybe give each of them a little bit of background apart from we've already seen. And it's like, okay, now we need to get into tournament mode and these other teams so and make, getting to that end goal real quick. This will be make or break. 
exactly. I will say one thing, side note, and a quick gripe when they were like going and moving into the dorms, the sports dorms for the men's rhythmic gymnastics, and they first see the fancy dorms for some other sport. I don't know which sport. Uh, and they're like, oh my God, this is where it is. And he's like, nope, keep walking, keep walking. And they keep going to this like <laughs> uh, dingier house. Typical. And, <laughs> like in the woods. Um, these I kids that too. have no idea how lucky they are. Like they're so lucky to be able to live in dorms when they're in high school. Like it's not like we got to do that. I think that'd be so much fun. Like even if you do have to live in that house, that house was still pretty <laughs> nice, honestly. I, mean, I didn't think it was that ever... Huh? I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> No, I don't think it was that bad either. That's what you're saying. It's like it definitely continued to to add to the dramatism that a lot of these uh <laughs> these shows have. I I more so love the the part where um the the main character you know comes to the the facility that they're at and he he experiences the the uh, I forget what they call it. It's not like a trampoline, but like the the floor mat that's all like oh, you yeah. know bouncy. He's just like, wow, this is great. Like, why don't we have one of these? And then, you know, the the assistant coach comes up and she's like, yeah, because it costs like five hundred thousand dollars or something like ludicrous. And I'm just like, holy yeah. shit. In USD, I looked it up, actually. Sorry, what did I say it was? Was it like thirteen thousand or one hundred and thirty thousand yeah. or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's definitely like, embellishing, but yeah. some ridiculous number that uh, yeah. high. Yeah. They, yeah, they do that as well. Pretty, pretty regularly with, with sports shown and shows of just naive main characters getting involved in a new sport and not realizing you know well i think it would have been different if, what, if funny. yeah I, I think if there's i think it would have been different if their school is actually known for their gymnastics but i mean if they only had four members and they were like still solid but you know they weren't winning anything i mean why like why would the school give them yeah. that money you know yeah and that's the same thing of tropes when it's like you know th they go to a different school and they see how nice things are and then they're like so where's our facility and then you know they're playing like <laughs> outside like in the dirt and they're just like yeah that's what we got and he's just like Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, so. a, like they, they point over to like an area that's just like all like destroyed and, and just broken down. They're like, oh, yeah. that shed over there? No, no, you got that field that next yeah, to the that, shed. That, yeah, that's us. <laughs> but uh, no, again, another show for me that uh, definitely uh, caught me off guard and uh, glad to be uh, joining it with you guys. So it's been a lot of fun so far. I am episodes. enjoying it as well. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I've been open up to like a bunch of sports and I never used like high you started it. Now I just kind of keep going. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I don't even, I don't even like sports at all in real life, There's uh, a... but I love sports anime. <laughs> 